Il sud dell'Italia è un posto stupendo. The south of Italy is a wonderful place to navigate because the waters are splendid and the boating season lasts many months. We're in Calabria, where tradition and passion for boating are one and the same. In Soverato resides the home of an experienced family company, the Moto Nautica Ranieri Brothers. It all began in the late 60s, through the work of Pietro Ranieri, who today, together with his sons Salvatore and Antonio, manages one of the most important Italian shipyards for boats under the 10-metre category. In 1958, my uncle purchased this motorcycle, and it was then that my passion for mechanics and engines began. Practically, I went to school in the morning, and in the afternoon I'd go to the workshop to learn as much as I could of the trade, up until I was 16. At 16, I went on my way, and it was from repairing the bikes that I transitioned to repairing marine engines, from the repair of marine engines to the selling of them, and from the selling to the constructing. We started with small boats in the early 70s, and then from small boats we proceeded to build motorboats of 4 to 4.5 metres, then 5 metres, then 5.5 and, and so on. Today we have a range of 45 different models. Since last year we began building rubber dinghies, starting with three models, and now we're up to eight. This year we'll present another four models at the Genoa Boat Show, and so we'll see, for the coming year we'll have other programmes. I often say that we should never be fooled by the aesthetic beauty of boats because it's especially important to consider how they're made and how they navigate. Let's go inside the factory to see how Ranieri International boats are born. What did Ranieri do to have such success to the point of exporting their products worldwide? Simple, they make quality products. But how do you produce a boat of such quality? Simple, by analysing all of the materials through every stage of production. And that is why Ranieri chose to produce everything within their production site in Soverato. Everything from the design to the production. We'll see in the details how Ranieri International Boat or Dinghy is built. begins with the gel coat, the outer coating that gives splendour to the product and at the same time protects it. It's the first material to be sprayed onto the mould, so it must be of the most excellent quality and must be applied by expert hands. After the gel coat, the fibreglass is laid and then the resin. The moulding is done by hand. As in nearly all, the shell is most important to use quality fiberglass and resin, and in the perfect quantities, then to roll it out carefully, following closely all the nooks and crannies of the mould. Here the skills of each individual can make all the difference. To make sure that the fiberglass sticks to the mould perfectly, especially in the more difficult areas, they use a special component, the free coat, that produces this intense blue colour. The strength of the hull also depends on the structural reinforcements, which, however, must not be too overabundant, because that would cause an increase in the weight and therefore reduce the performance. From examining this mould, two very important characteristics are understood. First, the attention given to the construction of the reinforcements, and second, that all the components are reverse moulded and completely isolated from the bottom. It is interesting to note that this has been created with a monocoque and includes all the most important parts of the deck, from the far back corner of the cabin to the little room where the fuel tank is located to the water tank. But it is even more important to observe the mosaic of reinforcements on the underside of the deck. There are various materials used like polyurethane foam and other elements that are important to provide additional strength to the deck. 
so as to withstand any kind of stress to which it might be subjected to, or also to better install all the accessories and components which define the general layout of the boat. The brothers, Salvatore and Antonio, have been under the direction given to their company by their father, Pietro Ranieri, namely to make all that is possible internally within the shipyard, to control all the processing, the quality of materials supplied and all of the finished products. That's not all. Salvatore and Antonio, along with their father, Pietro, are personally responsible in choosing all the new models, following each project, the construction, and finally, in testing all of the boats and dinghies to acquire information that will then be introduced to the production cycle in order to develop the know-how and the products. Those who are used to assessing the quality of boats can understand immediately the value of these models, observing the perfection of the surfaces, the gleam of the gel coat, the solidity of the hull and the assembly, and in furthering the examination, one grasps the telltale marks of top quality processing. At this time, a new boat is about to be created. The hull is being removed from the mold as we speak. The hull is shiny and perfect. It doesn't need any further work because it came out of a perfect mold. Hey, no. No, no, perfect. Wait, it isn't perfect. There's a hole here. That is needed to let air into the mold, otherwise it would never detach. Now we'll enter the hull because there are a few curiosities that I'd like to explore. The grid reinforcement is quite dense, and this is normal. But what isn't normal is the fact that they decided to lay an anti-osmosis product in the bilge. The reason for this is simple. The fiberglass can be affected by the water not only on the outside, but also here, where water often becomes stagnant. These aspects are rather particular. They're important because here is where the deck will rest, on a surface that is rather wide and filled with polyurethane foam, so as to engage the function of reserve buoyancy. Here at the aft, there are impermeable tanks that, along with the method of construction and a reverse moulded deck, renders the boat technically unsinkable. This is a very important principle that applies to all products of Ranieri International. Before they lower the deck onto the hull, I would like to point out that the set of pipes on the underside of the deck, where all the electrical and mechanical cables pass through, perfectly isolated and far away from the water. The shipyard also designs the components of the boat, thinking not only of the aesthetics, but also the functionality. For example, this piece here is fixed onto the side of the hull in a very simple way, so that it may be easily replaced. La Ranieri International ha il certificato di qualità ISO 9001 e così Ranieri International is a proud holder of the quality certificate ISO 9001 and each of their boats has an identification card which displays all of the processes that were implemented throughout the years that have allowed over time to gradually increase their quality. Just look at which point they have arrived. They put silicone along the rivet holes so that not even one drop of water can leak into the hull. Now, those who follow us from abroad might be wondering where they can see and experience these boats. Ranieri International participates in many important boat shows around the world, from the Middle East to the Mediterranean to the north of Europe. In the catalogue, there are 35 boats, and they've recently started manufacturing rubber boats as well. After one year of production, they already have 10 different models. For the Cayman line, the rubber dinghies, they use the same manufacturing processes that are used for the boats. The tubes, of course, are also built on site, and not from a third party, as is done by many other manufacturers of inflatable boats. Doing it on site ensures a faster development process because it's direct. Unlike other companies, Ranieri did not want to relocate their production and they're proud of that choice because now they can say that their products are 100% made in Italy. 
All of the upholstery is also made on site. Only they truly know how exactly it should be made. And the fabrics are beautiful, but what lies beneath? The padding is closed cell foam, so as not to absorb any moisture. On top of that, there is a layer of Dacron to make them even softer. And the structure is made of PVC or fiberglass, not wood, because it would rot. The rigging, the grouping of all standard mechanical and electrical properties needed to install the outboard is also made on site, and this adds value to the product. I'll explain why. I had my GPS installed by my car dealer, but they installed the antenna in the wrong place and now it doesn't work. That would never have happened if it had been installed by the manufacturer themselves. That's why it's important that most of all of the operations are carried out in the shipyard and nowhere else. This shipyard has another important advantage over its many competitors. It's a stone's throw from the sea, which makes it much easier to test new models. If something is not perfect, if something might need to be fixed or improved, they do it right away, and the know-how of the company grows rapidly. I'm very happy with all that I've accomplished because I have given my children a great opportunity to undertake a career in this business. They have followed me step by step and, in fact, I must thank them for these innovations. The latest ones that we have had because it was they who pushed me to go further every day. And I cannot ever say to them, I absolutely cannot stop now. Fifty years ago, Pietro Ranieri began his work with engines. Today, his shipyard brings quality navigation to tens of thousands of people. He has fulfilled his dream, and not only his dream, but the dreams of any person with a passion for the sea.